Hey guys, this is Inferno Bird here, and I am ready to unroot my HTC Evo 3D. Um, it started having trouble a while back, and I'm just ready to unroot it, just to you know return it back to stock, back the way it was. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna go step by step. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, all right. So you're gonna go down here. You're going to hit the thing that would normally be called menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to, let's see, applications, there you are, development, make sure USB debugging is checked on, and make sure it's on, and it'll give you this little allow USB debugging, and you say OK. And uh, and then you go to let's see um, power. Make sure fast boot is checked off. Make sure there's no check mark there. All right. Then we go all the way back and we turn it off. And you hold down the power button. Select power off. Power off. And then you wait for the little LEDs to go out. Boom. There we go. All right, and then after that, you're going to turn it back on, but while pressing the down volume down. So you get into H boot, where you have all these options, and then you select fast boot. Here you want to go to your phone, and you want to plug it in. You want to take your USB, plug it in. Eee, I'm chasing it around. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, plug it in. Ah. There we go. And then you should get a little thing that says fast boot USB um, and it, whenever it's plugged into your computer. Alright, you want that. Everything it shows there. And see, I am running HBoot 1.5. Make sure it's unlocked. You know, make sure you got basically the same setup I do to, to be doing all this. Anyway, hold on one sec. And then we're going to go to our computer. But all boom. And you want to download this file right here. It's fastboot.zip. Right, I'll probably include the uh, link, you know, down there, way down there. This link will be down there. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll include the link for this one. And um, and then what you want to do is you want to go to it, right click, and go to extract all. And let's see. Um, yeah, I'll do it there. And then just go to extract. And barabi, there it is. All right, and then you want to highlight all this right here. Highlight all them files that you just extracted. Right click and copy and go to the base of your C drive see just just in the C, C folder C drive and click uh, scroll all the way down click right click and paste and what did it happen we need to provide administrator permission to copy this folder um, continue and it will put them all in there all right, <laughs> I like my Pokemon Emerald GBA. <laughs> it's for my um, Game Boy emulator that I have. Anyway, all right. So moving on. Now you probably want to do exactly what I do, which is you can go down here to your little Windows icon. Boom. Type in here C M D. Hit enter. And bam, it brings me a command prompt. And then I'm going to type in C for C drive. Oh, uh, well, I'm already in C drive. <laughs> Sorry. I want to type in CD space backslash fast boot. D O O T. I need to. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking up a folder, because the backslash means folder. That right there 
that little backslash means folder and I, I didn't create a folder I just unzipped it into the C drive I need to make a folder which I did and so there it is there you are and okay and just click drag into your um, yeah into the base of your C drive alright now it's there now I can go over to my command prompt and type in cd backslash fastboot and now it should, there we go see I know what I was doing not really <laughs> okay anyway from there we want to go to actually I guess I should have mentioned uh, you need to have the the software already in there, your drivers and stuff. And the way you do that, you go down, go down to control panel, go to hardware and sound, devices and printers, and it should have Android in there. All right, and uh, if you have a, a different view, it, it should say something like my HTC or something like that. But anyway, as long as you got that, then you're good. Then, uh, then what you want to type in is fast boot space O E M space lock, and then you hit enter. Then you get something like that, and it says lock successfully and uh, failed. But don't worry about that; it's no big deal. And then your phone should turn off. Bada bing and it should turn back on and there you go but you don't want it to reboot you want it actually I'm going to take out the battery you guys should see this, this is like acrobatics I'm trying to hold a phone and hold a camera and I'm trying to take apart a phone and hold a camera and I'm trying to show you guys what to do and hold a camera <laughs> But anyway, uh, there we go. All right, no, no boot up for you. And then we put that back in there. Cover it back up. There we go. And we press volume down. And whoa, too close. Power. And that way, we get back to fast boot and it should say uh, put this down so I can focus uh, but it should say relocked all right now you're good now what you can do you need to plug your phone back in just give me a minute hold on I'm gonna sorry about that I needed two hands to do that and you want to click power make sure you can get back into fast boot and it says fast boot USB all right, let me come back to our computer. All right, hold up. Get it focused in so you guys can see this. And then you're going to download this file right here, and it is called RUU Shooter S uh, uh, underscore S underscore Sprint underscore WWE, not the World Wrestling, whatever underscore 2.17.651.5 underscore radio underscore 1.0 yeah it should say all that basically <laughs> anyway um, unless you you have a way newer phone and you're watching this video from a while back anyway you can exit out of this you can exit out of that if you exit out of this then you're doing it right oh yeah <laughs> anyway uh, and then you just double click that, make sure it runs. It is normal. It usually takes this long because it has to go through my permissions and stuff and uh, make sure it has all my all my things set up right and my phone is plugged in and everything is going good and but this is taking a long time. I'm getting impatient. You might have me a sandwich. No, I can't. I can't let my YouTubers down. All right, 
Anyway, let's see. Why are you taking so long? What's the matter with you? Anyway, once you load it up, once it gets loaded up, you accept, you know, whatever permissions it gives you. Uh, make sure you check the boxes, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Just a second. Okay, I'm still waiting on it to open up, but I do want to tell you that uh, that the the relocked thing above there, where it says relocked, you can't get it to say anything else. It's always going to say relocked, um, as I understand it. Uh, I don't know why, but that's just the way it is, I guess. You know. <laughs> But, um, gosh, is this thing ever going to load? Aha! It loaded. Alright, so, now that we're back, should be getting a screen kind of similar, or should be the same as this. And it should be loading, and loading, and, and, and loading. Alright, alright, all right, we're getting somewhere. And it's not, okay, here we go should say welcome to the ROM update utility for your Android phone. Let's say I understand. Click next. And then you go I have completed the steps above because your phone should be plugged in and in fastboot and it should say fastboot USB. Okay there we go. Alright that's a little bit better. As long as it does that you're good to go. And you say I have completed the steps indicated above Click next, and it says verify me your information on your phone. Please wait. It should take it from here. You should be good to go. It should be flashing a different image on there. It should be getting rid of all your other stuff. I am told that it doesn't touch your pictures. Uh, or oh wait, no, sorry. I need to update. Select update, and it'll do its thing. And my arm is getting tired from holding the camera. I need a tripod! I'll get one sooner or later. Just gotta bite the bullet. Spend the money. Alright, and then this will come up. You hit next. Boom. And then you go, during the update process, the following will occur. You can read all that, but you basically know what's gonna happen. It's gonna unroot your phone. It's gonna give you a stock ROM. You know. That's, you know what it's gonna do. This is the reason why you're watching this video. Alright, anyway. Waiting for bootloader. Alright, and then your phone's gonna turn off. And you're gonna see this. The little HTC screen. Should see that. And it'll go through the process, and I'll probably speed this up right here. Alright, and then should have a change screen. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the loading. And it should still look like that. And I'll probably fast forward it right about meow. Alright, once it gets to rebooting Android phone, your phone should go off, and you should be at this stage on the screen. It says, congratulations, your ROM update has been completed. Your Android phone is now ready for use. Woohoo! And your phone should turn on automatically, and you should click finish. And here we go. Here's the opening. But you should be done from here. Should know what to do. But just because I'm nice and I like including things in my videos, this is what I'm doing. For you, viewers, for you. <laughs> Alright, now we're back at the screen, 
Unlock it. Should still be on the HTC screen. Anyway, you figure it all out and put in your information. It should not have wiped your uh, pictures or anything like that off your SD card. You should still be good. But uh, there we go. We're, we're all done. And voicemail is loaded. And we are unrooted. Um, stay tuned. I'll probably do another video here shortly. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I love subscribers. <laughs> Woohoo! Anyway, have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching.